how goes it, Chill Zone? This is the 14th episode of the Let's Play of Empty Soul, believe it or not. And leaving off from the last episode, I'm going to go on and give you a little recap as usual. So, last time on Empty Soul! On the last time on Empty Soul, we just did a lot of investigating around the house, uh, which was Solon's house that was very blurry. Um, she was, everything was blurry because she was trying to still get a grasp of everything and still trying to remember things from her childhood. And if I remember, whoever she was speaking to, I'm not sure if it was her subconscious, whoever it was that brought Solon to her, um, childhood home, said that all of this was, like, the old scary world was her dream, while the more realistic world that looked like, of course, her childhood home was reality. And um, so whenever she saw everything around the house and she wasn't really getting a good grasp of what was going on and what really, you know, was going down or she basically she wasn't understanding. And so whoever this subconscious or there is her subconscious of whoever this person is who's speaking to her said that things would get more interesting um, in this part, I guess. It looks like it's nighttime, I hear rain. So um, I guess we're gonna be getting more into the memories of Solon this episode. Trying to uh, uncover more mysteries because there's still a lot of stuff that just really doesn't make any sense to me and of course, you the audience. But yeah, let's go on to get into that and see what this is all about. Huh? What? It's late. Sorry about that, guys. The frames dropped again, but I do believe I remember that said, um, it's time for the show to begin. Or something like that. I believe that's what it said. Her subconscious of whoever she's speaking to. But okay. Sanaj. Where's Sanaj? Oh, I guess we're supposed to look for her. Is this Sinaj, or is that, like, just another in indent in the carpet? No. Well, I guess we're supposed to go looking for her. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's probably, like, the main thing we're supposed to be doing right now. Is looking for Sinaj. Not really, uh... We've already seen everything here, so we're just gonna go look for her. I feel like things are going to get scary. Half of this is black and white and the other side is sepia. I'm concerned that this is going to get scary. Oh. Well, her parents' door is open, so... I'm guessing we actually have access to her parents' room now. Huh? The door's half open. I see my stepmother, but... Where's Dad? Oh, I get it. Probably he's studying upstairs. Oh, she's sticking to those rules, man. I feel like there's something scary upstairs. Is there anything abnormal here? Not really. Well. Time to go into the jungle, as they say. I mean, where well, there's no health or anything like that here. What? Oh. Yeah. I need to find Sanaj first. I'll come here later. Maybe her sister's... What? Okay. 
Maybe her sister's like in there, like eating the chocolate more than likely. I mean, that's that would be that would be that would be a lot more comforting if her sister just snuck in here to eat the chocolate. What? What was that sound? She's definitely hi hiding in here somewhere. She's probably eating the chocolate. Yep. <laughs> uh, huh. No, no chocolates here. Darn you, Sinaj! She's probably hiding behind here or something. Or under here. No. Everything's so dark. Well, I guess we're technically playing a game of hide-and-go-seek here. Oops. Interacted with the same spot. Hmm. Oh, yeah. What's this? The cellar? Hmm. Seems like we're looking playing playing a game of hide and go seek here. Where could she be? If it takes me too long, I'll be skipping. So you guys don't gotta wait. Well, it looks like we've triggered something. <laughs> huh, okay. Who's there? All right. So we did trigger something. Can see exactly what it was. I didn't hear it before the first time I came in there, though. There she is! I see where this is going. This is going somewhere bad. Like it always does. Prepare yourself. What is going on in here? Like the whole feel of everything just changed. And it wasn't like a sweet, adorable laugh. It was like a creepy laughter. That sound. It comes from under the bed. Oh my goodness. I feel like this is the only thing you can do to progress forward, so I guess, yeah, let's check under the bed. What's this? Mr. Cat come at night. Like chocolate. Kill me. Mr. Cat? That's the name of one of our toys. I don't like this. What's happening? Ch chocolates? Well... Looks like we got more scares ahead of us. I mean, it's not- well, that was kind of creepy, but... I do know that we have one more last thing to do, and that is see her father. So I guess we'll see how that goes. 
Or do we still have to look for Sinaj? Well, I'm going to see first. We followed who we thought was Sinaj all the way back into there, but I guess technically we haven't found her. Nope, still can't go back. Still, what? Yep. Still gotta find Sinaj. Okay, so I'm just gonna, um, go on and, you know, read this right here. We finally got some progress, some progression forward. I didn't think that she'd be able to find something else inside the box. But she did! And so, um, I guess I'm gonna go on and read this. There's something inside this box. Oh, Eve, It's gonna be something else creepy, I know it. It's the only way you can progress forward. What's this? Mr. Cat, watch. Mirror, see me. Come at night. Watch the mirror. Oh. I see how, it was, how this is going. Who wrote this? I feel like someone's watching me. Somebody's watching me. I don't like this. What's happening? Mirror? Alright, so I'm starting to feel like that voice, or whatever it was, is becoming more and more sketchy. But we're supposed to go to the mirror in the bathroom. Now that I actually, you know, get what they're, what they're talking about, each and every, um... Letter is pretty much uh, gearing you towards a certain object that you need to interact with. And I'm pretty sure, like, she'll figure out something in the end that's going to be kind of messed up. There it is. There's something behind the mirror. <sighs> There's something behind the mirror. Go on and do it. What's this? Sleep sofa. Who's leaving these notes? I have a bad feeling about this. I need to find Sanaj. What does it mean? A sofa. Oh, okay, guys, so apparently this is a freaking sofa. Like, it's so dark, and it, and it just so much camouflages into the wall that I couldn't even tell it was a sofa. Like, I thought I thought it was a part of the paneling of the wall, and I thought it was just wood. But apparently this is a sofa. So, I guess I finally found the freaking sofa after walking through this living room like a thousand times. But, um, there's probably a note under or behind the sofa or whatever, so... Let's see what it says. There's something between the sofa and the window. Sure. It's gonna be something bad, but... What's this? Hide here. Save me. What's all this about? Sanaj, where are you? <clears throat> What's going on? Well, we're probably gonna hit a cutscene at some point. It says to hide here. Um. Yeah, we read that. I can see it shining with the light from the outside. Oh! With my hand, I could be able to... I feel like I shouldn't. Like it's bad. What's that? I can't reach it. 
gosh, I feel like this is bait. <laughs> and I feel like I shouldn't do it. But I've said yes to almost everything else. I feel like this is going to be like an instant kill. And I'm going to end up dead or something. A small book? Wait, this is a book from my collection. What's doing here? What's it doing here? Maybe sorry. <laughs> Those words do matter. A small book. Can she look at that small book? All right. Well, okay. I'm going to go back to her room and assume that she can maybe uh look at her bookshelf and be all like, oh, well, I have a book missing, you know. I still haven't found Sinaj yet. So, that's something I'm totally doing before this episode concludes. Yep. Huh? There's a small space for my book. Someone took it from here. Okay. Something fell from the bookshelf. Gosh, I think this is just all a big setup. I can't help but to think that. The music box key? What's doing here? What's doing here? What is it doing? I'm sorry. <laughs> the, the complete lack of it is it is it's just destroying me but i guess we're just going to go on and use that music box here we got to um i guess use the music box darn it actually Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go and put it in. If I use the music box, they'll spot me. Um, this key I found. Do it. Hmm? There's another book inside. It has a metallic cover. This must belong to my father. What's doing here? Jeez, with the lack of it. What's it doing here? Wait. Psychological therapies for small children? Does my father read this? Maybe we haven't found Sanaj yet though. It's probably gonna give me that same thing like, oh, you haven't found Sanaj. More than likely. But no, this is his bookshelf. Right here. Dad's bookshelf. He didn't used to like anyone to touch his books. I am somehow like him now. Yep, there we go. There's just space with the book missing. Yep. <sighs> Wait, is it moving? What? Wow! Actually, considering what just happened, we are going to go on and leave it on a cliff of the hangar. And we're going to find out what was uncovered when we put that book inside the bookshelf. So, if you guys enjoyed this 14th episode, press the like button. And, if you're feeling a little edgy, go on and press the subscribe button. What are you waiting for? If you want to watch more of this Empty Soul Let's Play, or any other this amazing content that we have on this channel, please, subscribe! <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking like this. <laughs> please, subscribe! <laughs> but yeah, yeah, if you enjoyed, please subscribe. And if you have anything to say, comment below. And as I like to say, be fresh, keep cool, and most importantly... Stay chill.